Hey fam, you are welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing? Hope you are fine. Please just manage this video like this. I'm not at home, okay? But while I'm waiting, let me just make this video. The only difference is that if I'm tired, I will be exchanging, I will be changing my hand. You understand? So please subscribe to this channel, like this video, comment and share. Okay, thank you for your love and support. Okay, so recently, I, as in, I don't think I will be doing premiere. I'll not be having the chance, so I will be uploading. There is something I want to say before I talk about Diwango, Bestie, Africa Tigress, and everybody. I want to let you know that this is now reaction. My video now is not about fighting for anybody or fighting anybody. You understand? Remember what Mama says. You know, you cannot just come here and start fighting those who are all oh, inheriting enemies for the Wango, inheriting enemies for Mawa. And at the end, the same people will come out to like, is it kind of fool you or rubbish you or looking as if you are doing too much or you are doing over Sabi or nobody sent you. You understand? So please enjoy my content, enjoy my reaction. It is strictly reacting to the content, how I see it. But there is also comment section where you can express yourself, where you can give your opinion, where you can disagree and all that, okay? It's no more fighting, okay? Maybe some of you are seeing misunderstanding. It's no more fighting or defending anybody, no. You understand? Let These people have already tell us that they don't want it. So let it be that. I know a lot of your fans, a lot of people are coming to me, you know, I know you really care. You, you, you know, you know how it was before. You want me to be doing it that way. But <laughs> this channel is not to hear its enemies. Do you know how many people that have blocked because of Mawa? Do you know how many even in my Nigeria community, people that because of that thing Mawa said, then you know what they did? You know, like, okay, what have I inherited? As in, okay, now let me ask you, what is my gain? What, are, what is it? What, what, <laughs> what is my gain? Is it the monthly salary that some people place me or what? No, nothing like that. So please, okay. In as much I do not call me um, bash anybody, just my opinion. And you are free to drop your opinion, you okay? So please, just try to understand me, okay? This is how they want it, this popular YouTuber. Let's do it this way, okay? So once the the reaction, the whatever, exposing, whatever, whatever that is coming, I'll just come here and give my opinion, okay? There's always comment section for you to also interact with me and also remember weekend round of gs we have also interact as family hope you guys now understand okay you know, my videos is not more defending or fighting for anybody no it's strictly reaction okay without sentiment without emotions okay hope you guys understand and this channel when good thing happen to people we rejoice with them except you're a witch okay if good thing happen to others you don't want me to rejoice with them or you are angry i'm rejoicing with them so Let's let's say the table turn around. When it happens to your favorite, will you see say the same thing that why are you congratulating this person? Because everybody is just doing their thing. Everybody have their own blessing. You understand? Even as I am, I have my blessing as well. Okay. Thank you guys. I really appreciate if you guys who really understand it is what it is right now. Okay. Let me start by Dana Ekwemi. Okay. Dana Ekwemi is a Nigeria popular youtuber okay before now Dana was in nigeria you understand but now she's in saudi arabia with her husband she's a mom of three few weeks like few months now Dana did a master class she's one person that always do master class but her prices is no go area and funny enough she comes each time to talk about this master class of a thing and yet we don't see anybody who who, who has a channel who come and tell us like okay i my channel is successful today because of Dynam master class at least in kenya community we have people like people like mawa who will tell you oh mama taught me uh, mama opened my channel mama this mama that i make collaboration with mama now monitors at least at least this is one thing that i like about mama like seriously they are living testimonies so what are the testimonies of Diana equipment masterclass all the masterclass that she have been doing scamming people with masterclass what has been the testimony and i like it the way pastor bosman gave it to her 
The thing is that it will be so stupid and foolish of Granny Kuku Modesta. It will be very stupid and foolish of Modesta and Bridgetine Wang, that is Black Beauty, for them not to drag that Nayoko Eme with this masterclass because these are people who always tarnish the name of Mawa. Yes. So they always tarnish the name of Mawa doing masterclass. Let me see how they will go about it because this Daina is their popular YouTuber. In fact, because of this Daina, they have gang up, you know, manipulate people against people. This Daina have brought a lot of drag in Nigeria community. So let me see how they will go about it. Yes. But because they are hypocrites, they will not do so. But now let me read what Bastor Bosma said. Watched he wrote, you understand? Pastor Bosma is for nobody, you understand? Just that sometimes I say, Pastor Bosma, please reduce your insults, eh? especially when you're addressing these killer YouTubers. You can just talk about their wrong react, but okay, you know what I'm talking about. Though. Anyway, thank you for your birthday wishes and for posting me, okay? So, Pastor Bosma wrote, What at all is wrong with these so called big YouTubers? Imagine this lady, Diana, is asking people to register for YouTube Masterclass and make <laughs> to make $2,000 before December this year. Guys, let's be sincere. Who is going to open a YouTube channel now and make $2,000 before December? This is scam. Diana, your Masterclass is scam. And <laughs> I like it. Like I said, I like it 100 times the way Pastor Bosman give it to you. Now, let me read for that. Please, Diana, stop this nonsense and get a, yourself a job. Exactly. Get yourself a job. I think because you are jobless, that's why you are doing all this. Let's go for that. You were advised not to go to Saudi Arabia, but you insist your husband will cheat on you, so you decided to move to Saudi Arabia with your children. Anyway, this one, that is, the, that is her business. I don't know if this is the why she, you know, she went to Saudi Arabia. But, but one thing I know is that I don't really like or support distance marriage, you understand? But the truth still remains that since Diana Ekwemi went to Saudi Arabia, she has not been finding it funny. Either from one depression to another, she come out, she keep, like, she keep complaining, complaining, complaining. Okay, you go back to the Nigeria now. No, you understand? Now, let's continue. Now, things are getting hard for you up there in Saudi Arabia. And you decided to come out and scam people with this fake masterclass. That is the truth. This is pure scam. This is the real one. And you need to be arrested, Diana. Yes. It's scam. Now, pack your children and go back to Nigeria. If Saudi Arabia is too hot for you, Diana, you could me. <laughs> yes, pack your children and go back to Nigeria. And I think Pastor Bosman also re-edited. Re he also said, if your husband is not taking care of you, then get a job. Yes, he said it. Maybe he will re it in you know, right now, if you go there, he has removed that part. So, Pastor Bosma is telling you that maybe it's because your husband is not taking care of you. You understand? You know, they see food chop. That's why you're coming about with this masterclass. And guys, I want to tell you guys the bitter truth. This is unrealistic masterclass. Diana will come and promise you what you cannot get in the next five years. Later, she'll come out and she says, sold out. This is one of the way, the biggest way she used to lie and scam people is this masterclass. So I'm waiting for the foolish Modesta and the foolish Black Beauty to come out and attack her. The way they also attack other people when they are talking about masterclass. You understand? So guys, I want to talk about Diana. So guys, let me talk about Diwango and this her best thing. You understand? Maybe I'll put some clip. Maybe I'll not put some clip. But I want to really analyze a lot of things. I don't know the reason why a friendship cannot end without all this coming out. I'm not even in support of all this coming out. And right now, it seems that, you know, Diwango has a lot of haters. A lot of people have received comments to different places, different channels. A lot of people are really waiting for the downfall of Diwango. A lot of people are like, it's like, their prayer points for their dream to come true is for that day that the one will be exposed disgrace and this is why when people like me come here to advise her she should just take it because there are so many enemies in the street right now i heard that the one who have done this before though 
Though I heard that Diwango have done this kind of a thing before, bringing out somebody chat or through her, somebody chat was released. I don't know. You understand? But I heard that Diwango have exposed somebody chat before. Then, if that is true, because I never saw, maybe then I, I didn't watch the video, but if that is true, then this is karma that is happening to her right now. You understand? Except maybe that is not true. You see, this lady coming out to talk about Diwango, firstly, she claimed that Diwango you know, was referring to her in her video, that the video that Diwango did, the live stream, where Diwango was insulting, firebond them, this and that, that it was referring to her, so she decided to come out that right now, Silent is no more good. In. Now, this lady, I will not tell you that maybe what this lady is saying is true or it is not true. But if it's true that the one girl, she came on camera and posed to us that she bought mattress and she went there, she did not see any mattress. If it's true, then why would you because if that kind of thing is true then you yourself my lady you need to also be arrested for you to allow that kind of conspiracy that somebody bought mattress you know about it you didn't speak up then whether she speak up, i don't know you didn't speak up. you kept it silent okay then the one who was your friend why did you talk to her about it that this is deception you allow it i want to ask you a question why are you coming out now why i or why is everybody coming out now? Is the question. You understand? Now, until we see more evidence, until like you go straight to that grandma and make it have you, they will know if truly the one who just used those mattress, those things she bought as content, but did not give that woman. They will know so. But before then, she also may mention that the one who come to her place, stay. For free, use her water, lights, electricity, data for free. And the one go collect money from her to share her video. <clears throat> you use somebody's water, electricity, everything, and you collect money from her to share her video. If this is true, then it is a wrong thing. It is very, very wrong for the one go to do that. You understand and this lady also may mention that the one girl also requested again to come to her place at first she agreed then later on she thought about it she said no maybe she called it the one girl later to see no the one girl may you know it's possible she can think that maybe this lady discussed with anybody she also may mention of the one girl coming to her place and even having issues with her friends other people she also made mention of the one go spoiling other people need that is only the brother mawa that the one go does not rubbish or gossip but every other person that is or was once the one go friend the one go gossip and rubbish their name if that is true which i have said before you know i think she have learned understand let her stop it you understand because if she does not stop it these things will keep putting her in problem now this lady you understand a lot of people know this lady through the one go you might say the one go open a channel for her no the one go not put a channel for her her channel was already existing but the one go made people to know her the one go gave her shout out or probably they did videos together you understand and i think she should be grateful for that you understand but other things she is peeling out, she will talk about the one go wishing people to die, say, you know, always insulting on a live stream. You see, one thing I will say about that, I think that live stream personally, the one go was not happy, was angry. Of course, when you are angry and you are speaking or doing live stream, remember, live stream is not something that you edit. If it's video, later when editing it, you can look at it and say, no, 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 this thing I said is not good. Let me read it. But it's live stream. So she was not happy out of anger, she said that day. But it is also good that the one go learn to reduce her insult during live stream. You understand? Because you are making a lot of people to misunderstand your kind of person. It is not good. It is not good. Learn to reduce your insults 
in people. You are not a reactor, you understand? You cannot use yourself to compare reactors. Maybe when reactors are reacting, they react with high voice or sometimes throw one or two pitch of his or no. Okay? Just calm down. If it's like if it, you can come out and at least this kind of a thing is something that have or that can stain your name, stain your personality. If you can come out and defend yourself, especially concerning this uh, Philippine grammar, I would love you to do so. You understand? And also, if everybody is seeing the same thing, then it's for you yourself to, you know, you can check with yourself. To correct you say there's always room for correction you understand that doesn't mean that like it doesn't mean that everything she's saying is right because we are never there it is not that the friendship is sour that all this is coming out okay but she is claiming that she'll be quiet all this while but because the one go was referring to her and she talked about the one go always you know to the one go everything is competition competition always measuring people you know measuring herself with um subscriber saying that oh they can they don't they cannot get like my subscriber oh they cannot get like my view i travel around the world or oh, i'm in live stream see how many view see how many this thing super tans and all that life cannot be measured though everybody have uh what they use to measure success you understand and everybody like everybody's not the same you understand so the one go remove your mind from they want to be like you they are competing with you they are dragging with you just the same way um somebody was telling me about africa tigress you understand and i want to read something there's a comment somebody made when i posted a video of africa tigress you know and that video you know i also congratulate her of her house and i also reacted of what pastor bosman said which you know, I don't think there's any need of comparison. Everybody have their strength. Everybody's unique in their own way. Everybody can do their own thing. You understand? But I want to read this comment because this comment is coming from African Tigress fans. You understand? Now, this person said, Happy birthday, beautiful. Thank you for your birthday wishes. Congratulations to Africa Tigress. Not to compare, but Africa Tigress has had a lot. If you have looked into her life, she is one of the lucky people who got Mandela Washington Yali scholarship. She's also a founder of two organizations such as Afa Chakap, which is in tech dealing with health related stuff, which her profession is. Currently, she has also been nominated for a travel award where voting is ongoing. I pray she wins. I also suspected that she's an she has an apartment in Nairobi and also some land in outskirts of Nairobi where land is damn expensive. Wow. And it's not easy to have a chunk of it. As per this mansion in Kusimu, this is a great step. It is the modern way. It is the modern way of building here in Kenya. So, it does not mean that she copied Mawa. She was also very artistic with the stones she chose. So, why would somebody think that, you know, Africa Tigress is copying Mawa? When, when we all know that everybody have their strengths, everybody's unique in their own way. I don't see it that way. And, you know, in my channel here, we celebrate when people are celebrating. We don't pay any bad thing to happen to anybody, but if any bad thing happens to anybody, we also give that person a hug and also, you know, encourage that person. You understand? So, that video, some people didn't like it because, oh, why will you congratulate African tigress in her mansion? I'm a landlady. <laughs> you understand? I know what it is for a woman to do that kind of a thing. I want to also ask you guys, if it is the Wango that have that mansion, will you tell me not to congratulate her? Is the question so regarding to this Sherobi or she no no this lady i feel you all should seize the fire right now african tigress seize the fire everybody sees the fire okay are you the one go just just continue to be yourself okay ah, i don't even know what to say I'm, I'm like i'm tired like seeing this video i thought it has ended with african tigress now seeing this one um, please, Africa Tigress, you're talking about if you want to address this again, you're going to bring receipt. Please, don't bring any receipts. Please, 
it is okay. It is enough already. You understand? It is enough already. I don't know why friendship cannot end without dragging. I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like it. You understand? So please, guys, let it end this way, okay? I wish you guys the best. African Tigress, Mawa, Diwango, everybody, because everybody fans is watching me. I don't have one particular person that, oh, is only this popular YouTuber fan. No. I have everybody fan. Everybody's watching me. So I wish you guys the best and I pray peace win. Okay? So everything I've said about this video, drop in the comment section. Regarding to Daniel Kweme and the Wango Africa Tigress and Bestie and everything. Thank you guys for watching me. And regarding to, you know, JB, both of them, they use each other. Like both of them, I will not say use, both of them gain from each other. Both of them had or experienced the advantage of that friendship. So please let's stop it. Even if the one go say, Oh, JP was a blessing to me. Should the one go date somebody that will be a cost to her? It's a question. Please, guys, please. This is enough already. You understand?